In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a wholesale area to your Shopify store. And as usual, I will be covering this step by step. So this tutorial is going to be perfect for you if you are a beginner and even if you are an advanced. I will use only one app in the process and it's not expensive at all and not complicated at all. Follow up this video step by step and you will have a wholesale area up and running on your Shopify store in minutes. In order to set up a wholesale area on your Shopify store, you need three things. First, a page for your wholesalers. Second, a way for them to apply to be wholesalers on your Shopify store. And third, special treatments for your wholesalers versus your normal clients. We will start first by creating the page for the wholesalers. Then we will move into the form and finally into how to create a different experience for your wholesalers in your Shopify store. We are talking about showing them different prices, different products, different offers, and so on. The first thing that you need to do is to go in here to online store and to pages. And we will start by creating a wholesale page. Just call it wholesale. Second, we will go to our active theme, the one that we are currently using, and I will be using the horizon theme as an example, but regardless of the theme you are using, what we are going to discuss in this video will still be applicable. Some things will change and I will tell you about them when we reach them. I will click on customize and in here I will go to pages and I will click on create a template. So what we are doing now is creating our wholesale page. So let's say someone wants to apply to become a wholesaler or to sell our products. We want them to see this page, to have all the information and to apply inside of it. So let's call it wholesale and click on create template. We will go back to our Shopify dashboard one more time. And from here, we will go to pages. And for this page, we will make it live and we will assign the wholesale template that we have just created in here. It's still empty, but it's important to assign it. So we will be able to preview the page properly. Now let's get back to our editor and now when we access our pages and we go to our wholesale template, we should be seeing a blank page. And this is exactly what we wanted to do. In here, you can be as creative as you want. The job of this page is to welcome anyone who's interested on reselling your products, to give them information and to allow them to apply to become wholesalers. So the first thing that you can add is a section, for example, in here, you can have a banner image. So I will go in here to image. You can go with something more fancy instead of just a banner. Maybe we go with hero. So in here we can put uh, something, uh, a rela related text, for example, uh, become a wholesaler. And we can add, for example, uh, some text in here. We can remove the button if we're not gonna use it. And for sure, we can change the image and replace it with something that works with our brand. So let's say we sell yoga outfits. We can have a background that's related. And we can for sure adjust everything, the heights, whatever we want. It's a normal section within your Shopify page and you can change anything in here. Then we can add more sections talking about our products, our brand. It really depends on you and on how fancy or complicated you want to make this page. But you can build it as any other Shopify page. So you can add images with text, for example. Uh, you can add uh, whatever you want, really. It's really up to you. Here is an example of a wholesale page from a running store. They have in here an image with some text and a button that leads them to the contact form. In our case, instead of having the contact form on another page like in here, we are going to build it within Shopify because we are going to use the native contact forms from Shopify. This is the easiest way in my opinion and the less expensive. In case you want to take things a little bit further, you might be using uh, uh, different providers for form submissions like Zoho Forms or something like this. But for now, we can keep things simple and just just use Shopify contact forms. And when you scroll down in here, you will see more information, maybe in here some reviews and so on. It's really up to you and the building this page is very, very similar to building any other page on your Shopify store. Now let's talk about the contact form or the form that 
sellers are going to fill in order to apply to become wholesalers on your store. And this is super important. This is actually the most important section in this whole page. And this form is going to differ depending on your business and what type of information you want your customers to ask. And the way you create this form will change depending on the theme you are using. In this example in here, we are using the Horizon theme from Shopify. So if we go in here and add a contact form, you will see that the contact form is very basic. We just have name, phone, comment, and email. And we can't unfortunately add more fields to this form. This might be a little bit annoying because most probably you want more information from your sellers. I will show you how to fix it in the Horizon theme, but let me take a moment to show you how this can be different if you are using a different theme, a more professional one, for example. Going back in here, I will actually use the symmetry as an example and I will go to customize. And in here, for example, when I click on add section and I add the contact form, you will see that within this contact form, I can add more inputs. So I can simply click plus and add more inputs to this form and adjust it and modify it the way I want. So I can add a custom field, I can add a custom dropdown, I can add a custom checkbox, whatever I want, which is not available in the Horizon theme as we have seen before. So if you click here, for example, on custom dropdown, you can create a dropdown, you can go in here and enter the options. This is going to be very practical and it's going to make your life way easier. So the first thing I want you to do is to check the theme you are currently using, the latest version of it, and see if they have a contact form where you can simply add inputs, when you can simply add fields to fill. If this is the case, this is amazing, you can simply build up your form by adding fields in here, like we have done with the symmetry. But if you are using the Horizon theme, we are going to do some things in a different way. So going back to the Horizon theme, and although it's sad that it doesn't have a contact form, the Horizon theme is a theme that fills until the latest Shopify updates. And in this update, Shopify allows us actually to create any section we want using AI. So I went ahead and I already created a wholesale form contact using AI. I will show you how this works and I will give you the prompt that you can use if you are using the Horizon theme or any theme similar to it, any theme from the free Shopify themes, the latest ones, in order to be able to add the contact form to your wholesale area and to modify it and customize it the way you want. So going back to this page, we have seen that we have this basic form that we can't modify, we can't add, we can't change. Instead of this, I've actually created a different form, a much more advanced one using a, the AI tool of Shopify. So I will go in here to add section, custom section, and under this one, I will add block and I will choose the last one. And as you can see in here, I have created several ones until I found the perfect uh, prompt or the perfect form. Working with AI is super simple when you know the exact prompt to give it. Sometimes it takes a little bit of trials and errors until you find the right prompt. That's why if you want to create your form easily using this AI tool, just comment below prompt and I will give you the prompt to create the same exact form and also some instructions about how you can modify the prompt so it would work for your business. When I click here on wholesale contact form, I will have my contact form. And as you can see, let me remove this one so we don't get distracted. As you can see, this is a very long contact form with a lot of questions. And the prompt I use is actually as detailed as this form in here. Just to give you an idea, this is the type of prompt I have given Shopify to create my section. So how to do that? You copy this prompt, you go in here to your Shopify editor, you click on plus under custom section, you, you must be under custom section, you click on plus and you click on generate. Once you do that, the AI tool will be open and you need to paste the prompt, just paste it and click enter. And Shopify will be creating this section for you. Once it's done, it will be available so you can reuse it. You can even modify it before saving. In order to use the section that you have just created on another page or maybe in the same page, you click on plus and you choose the section that you've just created. So going back to this form, so as you can see, this is a very detailed contact form. Wholesalers need to fill up all of this form in order to apply. And once they do that, I will be receiving an email on my store email telling me that someone has signed up 
to become a wholesalers. And from there, I will have their emails, I can contact them, see if they are a good fit for my business and move forward with this collaboration. Again, there is nothing difficult at all in creating this form. You just need to copy the prompt I gave you and give it to the AI tool of Shopify and you will have the section up and running in minutes. Once you have that, you have your wholesale application. You need to show it on your menu bar and on your footer menu. This is super important because this is where your potential wholesalers are going to go in order to apply to this collaboration. And otherwise they won't know that you have this option set up on your store. So what we need to do is to go back now to our navigations and to add this page in there. So we go in here, we go to content, we go to menus, and we can add it on the main menu of our store or we can just add it to the footer menu. It's really up to you. But let's say you want to add it on the main menu. You go in here, you click on add menu item and you choose in here under pages the wholesale page and you click on save. And when you do that, it will, it will be showing up on your header menu. Then you do the same with your footer. So you go to footer menu and in here you click on add menu item. You choose under pages, you choose wholesale and you will have it on both the menus, on the header and on the footer. This is super important again, because this is how people will find out that you have this option in the first place. Now, when you preview your store, you can see that we have a wholesale tab in here. When we click on it, we go to the wholesale page that we have just created with the form. So now you have your wholesale page up and running and people can start applying to become wholesalers on your store. Let's see how you can add a wholesaler once you've accepted their invitation. From your Shopify dashboard, you need to go to customers. So you click here on add customer. You add the name, the last name, the email, the phone number. And the most important thing that you must do is to add in here the tag. You need to tag those people by a tag that makes sense like wholesaler, for example, or wholesale. This is very important because later on, this is going to dictate how we are going to hide collections or products depending on the customer type or tag. So let me just fill out this as an example. Once I will do that, I will add, I will add the tag in here and click on save. By default, since under my customer account section, I have chosen the newest option from Shopify, which is customer accounts. Whenever I'm adding a customer to my Shopify store, Shopify will be sending them an email, asking them to sign in and to create a password. This is super important because otherwise, this system doesn't work. You need wholesalers to have accounts for them to log in and to see the special offers and the products you want to give to them. But on the other hand, if you have this option, which is the old one, the legacy one, when you add a customer in here, you will see an option in here to send an invitation for them to create an account. So depending on which options of these you are using, this step might be a little bit different, but I highly recommend you to go with the customer account, which is the newest option from Shopify and that is the recommended. And by this way, whenever you're adding a new customer, a new wholesaler, they will receive an email from you asking them to sign up and to create an account. So far, we have seen how to create a wholesale page, how to create a wholesale form, how to add wholesalers to your Shopify store and make sure they are receiving an invitation to sign up and create an account. Next, we are going to see how to hide and show some products or collections to them. So I'm going to make this super simple and I will divide my products into two types. Products available for my normal customers and the products who are available only for my wholesalers. And I will do the following. I will create a collection. I will call it wholesales and in here manually I will just add some products as an example so let's say this one and this one and click on save so now I have a collection which is wholesale and inside of this collection I will include all the products that will be only available for wholesalers so let's say for example you buy, you sell a supplement and you sell it for $20 but you want to offer your wholesalers packages of 10 bottles for $150 instead of $200. So you can create a product of 10 bottles and they can order it all at once and get the discount and so on. You can create as many products as you want. You can create as many offers as you want and make them only available for wholesalers. Once you have this collection, I need you also to link to it within your menu. This is super important. So you go to, con to content, you go to menu, and you click on main menu and you will add this 
collection in here let's go to collections and this time let me call it the, col the wholesalers collection so we don't get lost and now since i didn't lock it yet it's available for everyone so if you preview the store you will see that this collection is there whether i am logged in or not i'm not logged in and i can see it in order to lock this collection and the products inside of this collection and make them only available for wholesalers i will be using a shopify app in order to do that, we are going to use this Shopify app. You can use any similar Shopify app. This is the one I found recently. It has good reviews and it works pretty well. I will click on install and install it to my Shopify store to show you how it works. The idea is we need an app to lock collections and make them only available for wholesalers. So this is exactly what this app does. I will install it. and click on get started so as you can see in, in here i have zero locks and i will start by creating a new lock so i click on new lock so the lock name let's call it wholesale and we are going to select logged in customers only then we are going to choose the content in here so it's on selected content on collection pages only and we are going to select a collection, which is wholesale. Click on close. So we click on add a new lock. We will name the lock wholesale. And in here under content, we choose the selected customers only. And they should be tagged by wholesale so in here i will choose tagged with and i will choose wholesale and under content i will choose selected content and under collection pages only i can actually choose this or this it's up to you i will choose wholesale click on add and that's it i will click on save it's now enabled. Then we need to enable this lock and in here to hide locked listing and hide all links to locked content and click on save. So basically in this way, we are making sure that no one is going to see even the collection name or anything inside of it unless they have the tag wholesale. Now going back to our store, as you can see, I can't see this collection in here anymore. In order to be able to see it, I need to log in to my account and I should have the tag wholesale. In this way, you can practically create any type of offers or products and hide them from non-wholesalers in very easy steps. Thank you so much for watching this video and for staying up until the end. If you liked it, don't forget to smash the like button, to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way you will get notified every time I publish a new video. And now before leaving, I highly recommend you to check out this playlist on my YouTube channel. In this playlist, you will find a lot of tutorials related to Shopify and the latest updates. I'm pretty sure you are going to learn a lot from this playlist and it's going to greatly help you to improve your Shopify store more and more. Thank you again for watching this video and see you in the next one.